the gear island weight screen of JetTech Pro consists of a number of small utilities. If you select the engine sprocket and then the rear axle sprocket here then the gear ratio is displayed here and the equivalent gearing here. The equivalent gearing enables you to select a matching ratio with say a smaller axle sprocket. The gearbox primary ratio is adjusted to reflect the primary ratio of a gearbox cart and in this way the maximum speed and speed in meters per second is calculated at the maximum revolutions entered here. Having first correctly entered the rear tyre circumference following measurement. You can also select gearbox ratios using this utility. All the available front sprockets for a gearbox cart are listed here and similarly the rear sprockets available for a gearbox cart. To the right we have the cart weight and balance setup. Again a simple utility you measure the corner weights with the driver in the cart and the cart fully fueled and the percentage weight distribution from front to rear and side to side is calculated. The correct weight distribution of the cart chassis is fundamental for consistent handling given that a cart chassis relies entirely on weight transfer to extract maximum performance from its tyres. You can also enter your class weight here and the total cart weight is displayed in this box which is just simply a sum of the four corner weights and a quick calculation is made in comparison with the class weight to, to illustrate either an underweight situation or an overweight situation. The fuel oil ratio utility is simply used by selecting the chosen ratio and let's say in this case 40 to 1 the percentage of oil in the fuel is displayed here and if you select the number of litres you are mixing at the time then the cc's of oil to achieve the chosen ratio 40 to 1 in this case is displayed here 200 cc's in this case and then finally on this page we have the engine target revs utility if the gearing on your cart is say 12 83 whichever ratio you select here then at the maximum revs achieved on your last run with this gearing ratio you enter here and let's say in this case it's 13,660 then if on your next run you wish to hit 14,000 revs then provided your engine and carburetor are correctly jetted and have the power capable to overcome the forces on the cart then using a gear ratio of 1285 will achieve your target engine revolutions.